today I'm going to show you how to actually find and delete all the resources that are running in your account. Uh, it's super easy to miss some resources sometime. Even if you're doing our projects, we have a section at the end where we show you which resources to delete and how to delete them. But sometimes you just miss things and you end up getting charged. You can see I got charged like $40 last month, damn. So I'm gonna show you how to actually go ahead and find these resources in your account. And it's super easy to do. There's two different ways to do it. So the first way I'm gonna show you is Cost Explorer. Go to the top here, type in Cost Explorer, hit go, and you go to the billing and cost management section. Now in here, what you'll notice is it says $0. Now we know that I spent money because I just showed you I spent $40. So what I'm gonna do is actually go down to this filters section here. Maybe yours looks slightly different, but depending on the UI, AWS keeps changing it. We're gonna go into more filters here and then click on charge type. Now there's different charge types here. There's credit, tax, and usage. I'm gonna select credit and change this to excludes credit. Now, basically what this means is I work for a startup and AWS gives startups credits to use on the AWS platform. But if you've created a free tier account and you've got credits from AWS like that, or through one of their programs, then maybe you're also using credits instead of actually spending money. But you wanna see where you're spending your credits. Like you don't wanna see $0 in here because that's not really helpful for you. So I can see in the month of July, if I hover over here, I actually spent a lot of money on EC2 instances. Pretty much all of that money was spent on EC2 instances and a little bit was spent on VPC and relation database. So in here, I can see what I've actually spent it on, but there's a few more tips and tricks that I think we should cover. One is, go back to the top here on the right hand side and you can actually change this date range. So maybe I wanna see my cost for the last year. So I can do one year. I can also predict future costs. So this I find really useful because it shows me where I've actually deleted my resources and, and what I'm expected to pay this month. So you can see I went from $37.64 in July to I saw my budget because I got an email because I've set up my budget to send me an email anytime I spend over my budgeted amount. And I got that email and I was like, damn, I need to delete my EC2 instances. So I, I went ahead and did that. So you can see in August, I'm expected to spend what $1.21, um, which is much better. I don't really wanna be spending it. Um, in July, I was spending it for a project that I was doing. In this case, I wanted to delete them. Now in here, there's also some other things we can do. So in here right now, we just have our costs. But let's say we wanna see which services we've actually spent money on. We can just go into that group by section and enable services. So I can see now it's very clear that in July, EC2 instances was the majority of spending for me. We can even go one step further here because this doesn't really show you which region you are spending in because obviously you can spend uh, different amounts in different regions depending on which region you're, you're set up into. What we can do, is actually go into region over here. And there's four different regions that I've, I've obviously uh, deployed resources into. So I know for me, probably Sydney is the region closest. So that's probably where I'm gonna be spending most of my, my money on. So I'm gonna hit apply. And yeah, we can see out of that $37, $36.94 was spent in, in Sydney. I assume very, very little was spent in US Oregon. Yeah, 70 cents. So this is a good way to see where your regions, um, where you've actually deployed your resources into which region. So from here, I could now just go, okay, EC2. I know that I have something running in this region here. So I can just go here, click into my EC2 and terminate this instance. So I could skip the OS shut shutdown and just delete the instance. That's one way to do it. It's quite easy. And I mean, as we've seen, we can do it in literally a few minutes. The other way to do it is a different service called Tag Editor. So I can go into Tag Editor here. Uh, Tag Edit Editor works pretty similarly to, to Cost Explorer. What we can do here is select the regions. I would not suggest selecting all regions. If we do all regions here and I select all resource types, you're gonna find that once it loads up here, I can search all of these different regions, all of these different resource types, and it's just gonna load everything. There's so many things in here, it's not really useful at all. Um, these are a lot of things that are automatically set up by default. Um, so it's not really too useful. You can see there is a lot of different things, security groups, internet gateways, subnets um, that I don't need to delete. So for me, what I'm gonna be doing is going into regions here. I'm gonna select Southeast two, which is Sydney. I'm gonna select that. And then I'm gonna go into here and go EC2 because I know that I'm looking for EC2 instances and I'm just gonna run that. And you can see it ran super quickly. And there is one EC2 instance that I'm running in here. So I'm gonna go click into here. It's gonna open up a new tab 
And from here, I can go ahead and delete my instance. So now you can see everything's all deleted. Um, we can even double check this. Now I have zero instances running, which is great. That's exactly what we wanted and it is super easy to do. All right, I know I said there was two, but I actually wanna show you one more. What we're gonna do is go to billing and cost management again, and there's just this super useful tab I'm here in the billing and cost management called cost breakdown. Super easy to do. You can just hover over things again um, and then click on region. It's basically the exact same as cost explorer, but just could be easier for some people, so I wanted to include it. As always, if you guys want hands-on projects to add to your resume, I'd recommend going to our website. It's the first link in the description and you'll get step-by-step -step guides um, and we tell you which resources to delete. Uh, I, know I, said that, I know I said that you can easily forget it sometimes, but it's all in the project documentation so you won't get charged or anything like that. And there is a lot of different topics that you can learn from like DevOps, AI, machine learning, compute, so many different ones. Uh, I love it. Um, I hope you guys have an awesome week and let me know what else you wanna see in the comments below. Like, subscribe, do all that cool stuff. Peace out.